PLC Network here with an interesting story we have today. Uh, in the past, we've had a lot of discussion with our readers and viewers, which is, well, you, uh, about 3D printing. And you've, uh, over the last two years, I've, we've really noticed that the questions have gone up and the number mm -hmm. of people that are wanting to, you know, get into, to jump into 3D printing. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, we, we reached out to a couple of companies, including, including Creality 3D, as well as um, the TiVo, yeah, TiVo. company mm -hmm. uh, to see what their input was if they wanted to work on this with the story. And of course, neither company reached out to us for some reason. So if you guys are watching this, but it's okay because you know we begged, we begged, we pleaded, and we we got the funding to uh, or the, the permission at least to get a 3D printer. And we decided to go with the Ender 5 Pro from Creality. Now they don't get sponsorship or anything. I don't get credit for this because we had to pay for it with our own funding yeah. here in the in the in the studio here. But we got it. Uh, because you guys asked, we delivered. So we have the Ender 5 Pro here. We just built it, literally. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. have Kiefer Shadik here. He's one of our, well, gurus, uh, gurus, gurus, not mm -hmm. gurus, gurus, uh, when it comes to 3D printing. I mean, this, this guy is awesome. He's young, but don't let that deceive you. He has uh, quite a lot of uh, time spent behind multiple different printers. And uh, so he's got the knowledge behind of how easy it is to build them, to maintain them, to, to fix them and whatnot. And uh, so in your experience, how, you know, it took us about a couple hours to build this, yeah. if even. And we took our mm -hmm. time and goofed around. Yeah. You know, so what would be your input in terms of, you know, how hard was it to build this, you know, like novice versus somebody who has experience with 3D yeah. printers? Well, personally, I think that the Creality did a great job at making the printer easy to put together for someone who didn't know much about printing. The instruction manual was really good and well written. It had lots of visual representations of what's happening in color. And um, everything that you need to start out is directly in the uh, instruction manual. So there's a lot of people that have commented, if you look at places like Amazon and whatnot, mm -hmm. that they've pointed out that they didn't like the instructions. Mm -hmm. They said, you're going to need YouTube. The instructions are terrible. Uh, we didn't use YouTube. Yeah. We didn't touch YouTube. We just we weren't really glued a lot to the instructions, mm -hmm. but we did reference the instructions, and it was enough to answer mm -hmm. any questions they had. Yeah. I didn't really think that YouTube was really necessary. It's uh, it, They might have had a uh, different revision that they made with better instructions because uh, it seems like the uh, original, they might have just given you this base plate, which has all the instructions on it, mainly, but. So that's good. Mm -hmm. So they, they've definitely been listening to their, their customers, mm -hmm. at least, at least we hope. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, it's, it's also important to point out that, again, you have knowledge behind mm -hmm. 3D printers. So yeah. for you, you know, it's a lot of it makes sense to you because you understand what all the parts and pieces are, the extruder mm -hmm. and everything else. You're like, oh yes, I know what this is. When you're looking at the wires and the wires titled, you know, like, hey, this goes into the extruder, you know exactly what it's talking about, yeah. the XYZ axis and everything. So if somebody, mm -hmm. if somebody's a novice, mm -hmm. they've never heard any of these terminologies before, mm -hmm. you know, do you think that they still, you know, they're, I mean, they might probably visit YouTube a little bit. Yeah, that that would be a good case scenario. If you don't know anything about this, probably the best case scenario is to see someone else build it and then just get a general idea of what everything is, get the lay of the land, and then start um, building it with the instruction manual. Not, don't just throw everything together. Yeah. It's the best. Now, a lot of it, though, is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's straightforward in terms of, yeah, place this here, screw it in, you're done. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of it, uh, not, well, a good portion, at least half of it, if not more, comes already pre-assembled. The wire is mm -hmm. already, you know, coming out the back here, the harness mm -hmm. and everything else. It's yeah. It isn't really that bad. And the fact yeah. that the only reason why it took us as long as we did is because we goofed around and took our time mm -hmm. and we just kind of uh, kind of compared and contrasted it to past stories and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, so probably, you know, if you're novice, you're probably going to mm -hmm. spend a good maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes at least, you mm -hmm. know, playing around with YouTube, goofing mm -hmm. around. But everything beyond that is, for the most part, it seems to be common sense. Yeah. It's, it's cool. user friendly. It's easy. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. So if you're going to get in a three D printing, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. It isn't going to be cheap, uh, but you do get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. There are cheaper three D printers yeah. out there, but if you want quality, you're going to mm -hmm. get something like this or better. Yeah, and also uh, this is a little bit more expensive since was, this was not a ba bare bones kit. Those come with nothing assembled, and you have to do everything, which that's not great. So I would just dish out a couple uh, more dollars just to get a mostly assembled one, like the Ender Five Pro. It's always better when, when the job's done for you for most yeah. of the work when you get in the mail. You don't want to open up a box with a million pieces. Mm -hmm. and, and what's really nice is uh, you actually pointed out during the build of this, uh, you mm -hmm. pointed out the quality of the parts compared yeah. to some of the other brands you've seen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, like the Capricorn tube. That's really nice for certain filaments so it doesn't get bound in the, um, in the tubing. So that that's can be an issue for some of the ones like TPU that are softer and squish. 
-hmm. And then even the, uh, the the job they did on the aluminum and everything, mm -hmm. everything's nice and smooth, everything's mm -hmm. flat. Everything yeah. comes together perfectly. Yeah. There's no uh, there's no abstract corners or anything like that that's going to cause any difficulties in piecing the pieces together. Everything fit perfectly. All the um, screws lined up, and there was no like issue with the screw stripping or anything. They used everything was really nice. I enjoyed the uh, the building process. So there you go. So again, Ender Five Pro. Uh, right now we have it printing something. Right now it's a cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually, it was just on a, it, it does come with a micro SD card. That's where mm -hmm. how you're going to get all the prints to mm -hmm. the machine. It just plugs right here in the front. Uh, it came with uh, three, cat, dog, and pig, right? Uh, yeah. So we chose cat. It's printing right yeah. now. It's incredibly quiet. Yeah. So how would you compare this to, like, the noise of, like, uh, we'll say, a Tebow tornado? Oh, yeah, those things are, uh, they're loud. They're really loud. Um, this is quiet. Most of the noise is just coming from the fans. Yeah. I can tell that. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is impressive. I've, mm -hmm. I've heard you work with some of the other ones before, including the tornado. That's why yeah. it came up in, in my mind right there. Yeah. And I've noticed that so, you know, it just there's a lot of movement noise mm -hmm. with uh, both the X and Y axis. Yeah. You know, so you're not getting it with this. Uh, it's really smooth. It's belt driven. Uh, mm -hmm. You have the. Uh, this is. A, uh, it's important to point. Uh, it's important to point out that it has the upgrades. Yeah. You know, so this is the upgraded version of the Ender Five Pro. So you mm -hmm. have the silent board, which mm -hmm. is. The reason why it's so quiet. The sound stepper drivers, yep. Yep. So it, it's quieting that down, so you're not hearing that normal noise that you are mm -hmm. getting from, from something like the Tebow Tornado. Yeah. Uh, you got the Capricorn uh, tubing here, and then of course there was the metal extruder, mm -hmm. which is right here on the side here, mm -hmm. uh, which is replaces what plastic? Uh, yeah. Um, some pretty of, much. Yeah, basically. They're plastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you can 3D print an extruder, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, like you can print a direct drive extruder, which would be kind of interesting. That would be kind of cool. Well, there you go. So that you got tons of projects right there alone when you when you're working with one of these that you can actually add to the three D printer itself mm -hmm. to improve on it, including cable management. Like we didn't spend a lot mm -hmm. of time in cable management. It's really hard to get these cables to to go where you need them, where they're mm -hmm. not going to be in in the way of the X, Y, and Z axis of the printer. But you can. Uh, we've seen some people out there. They've done like uh, some really interesting kind of guides for the wires yeah. to help better manage those cables. Yes, yeah, so those are really cool. Yeah. And they kind of look mm -hmm. like the, the kind of the. What, what would you call that? The tracks on a tractor, pretty yeah. much, in a way. They mm -hmm. move up and down with the plate as it's going the treads, up and down. Kinda, yeah. Treads, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's cool. So mm -hmm. what would you give us? Two thumbs up? Uh, definitely. Do you like it? I love this printer. It's nice. <laughs> so there you go. You know, so mm -hmm. this is a good step in the 3D printing. In the future, mm -hmm. you know, as we talk about 3D printing, a lot of it's going to reference this printer probably as mm -hmm. we look back on uh, different processes that we use to get to places. Or maybe we'll, you know, if, if we're using one of the tornadoes or anything else, you yeah. know, we'll include that in this story as well. But again, this is the Creality 3D. This is the Ender 5 Pro, the upgraded model. So you got, the, again, the silent board, the metal extruder, the Capricorn tubing here. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's quiet. It's nice. It's about four hundred dollars. Uh, we'll have yeah. some links in the description as well if you want to look into this yourself. Maybe you want one of these. But if you're a novice, it's not going to be hard. You'll you'll yeah. you'll get through this. It's not bad. Definitely, you're going to want to have somebody with you. So it's always good to have an extra pair of eyes, regardless if you're a novice or a pro. But if you're a pro, I mean, you're going to put this yeah. together pretty easily. Uh, so uh, check it out in the links. Uh, and if you like what you see here, don't forget to comment below as well as the subscription button down there, so you can follow us for everything that's to come in the future. And as always, we thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.